Well, hell fired as right the riff and I'm back with another metalhead in me. And uh just saw this pop up. And it says fixed audio. I didn't even know there was a version with bad audio. Uh I'm a big Kiesel fan. Huge, huge Kiesel fan. Uh I'm hoping one day I can be a good enough guitarist to have a signature model with him. I've got the Kiesel on the wall and the carbon. And so I saw I saw this the other day. And then that's why I guess it was five hours ago that they reposted for the fixed audio. But uh, the Zenith Passage Synaptic Deprivation Guitar Playthrough. I know I've heard of the name Zenith Passage. I don't think I've ever really dived into them. Uh, but I probably will because they're Kiesel artists. And uh, let's dive on in. So they said fixed audio. Is the actual track glitch like that? Got to damn it, don't fucking hate it. Okay, so purple's my favorite color. That model right there is sick. So it's an Aries one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Aries seven with the uh, that's one of the flames, but I can't remember what it is. That is a crazy cool looking model. I really like this model too. Uh, not the biggest fan of pink, but it really works well in that crackle. Hell yeah, these dudes are about to fucking shred out. Damn. I'm looking at their picking hands. Uh, this is a true envy. I wish I could play as good as these dudes right now. I don't know their names, but their picking hands and technique is fucking sick nasty. So I already see one thing that they do right that I wish I would have done right myself is uh, hold the pick the right way because they're holding it. So if you have the pick, they're holding it between those fingers and forward. Whereas when I play, I hold the pick with three fingers and backwards like that. But tag on they are shredding out. They even got fucking purple LED lights in the top of the amps. That's so cool. Yeah. makes me so excited to shoot another guitar playthrough especially with some of the uh tracks that we're cooking up on the my band second album uh it's gonna be so much fucking fun gosh it's gonna be so much fun <laughs> Am 
I crazy or did that guitar lead tone just like go super loud compared to the rest of the track? Pretty fucking loud. that section that was beautiful that's the bass that's cool I'm curious. I hopefully some more guitarists see this and y'all let me know y'all's opinion on the Floyd Rose. Like I got a Wilkinson tremolo and I love it. I fucked around with Floyd Rose before and I mean it feels good. It's just the tuning and all that shit right there on the fret, uh, top of the fretboard. Oh, that's a cool set. I love this song. This is such a fucking good song. I love this song to the point that when I show the rest of my band members, I'm going to be like, guys, why didn't we write something like this? And I know the first thing my other guitarist is going to say, is going to be like, well, you can't uh, do the... You can't do that shit that well, which I really can't. Uh, I have... Probably that is one of my weakest elements is my right hand and trying to nail rhythms like that. I'm fucking terrible, but I love it so much. I think part of the reason why I love that style of stuff is because I can't do it. I think once I figure out the trick and the secret on how to be that tight when it comes to uh, my picking hand, I might not love it as much. The mystery might be gone. Whatever tone they use for the lead work is just so good. There's a tone I have that I'm working with on one of our newer tron uh, tracks, and I called it Atmosphere, and uh, it really reminds me of that tone that I, I'm using, and I use a Line 6 stomp box to, to achieve it. But man, 
I like the fact my other guitarist could tell me if he was here how the mixture of wet and dry signal is right there. Like I'm still hearing every note he's picking out, but it does sound like a cool ass synth is doing all of it. That was really cool. Was that like the reverse? So push the whammy all the way down, hit the string, and then rise up. Oh, shit, I didn't back up far enough. Sounds like a siren if I get back up to the right damn spot. That was slick. That was a beautiful song. That was a fucking beautiful song. Oh, man. I'm about to dive into the Zenith Passage once I get done recording this. That's two thumbs with an extra set of two. That's four thumbs up all the way. I'm just hoping they're an instrumental band. I'm curious if they've got a vocalist. Because vocals kind of make or break me when it comes to music. Really bad. I'm really bad for that. There's a lot of great metal bands that I don't listen to. Because I don't like the vocals. But shh, let's keep that on the down low. Uh, Kiesel. Kiesel, Kiesel, Kiesel. I fucking love Kiesel. They make the best guitars. That was a cool playthrough. Simple, but I enjoyed watching what they were doing. And that's also a track that I would love to write. I'm jealous I didn't write this song. I I love the good mixture between tech and groove. I was just talking to my brother the other day about that. Uh, when something gets too technical, uh, it kind of loses me. But when something's not groovy enough, it loses me too. I like the good medium porridge. Uh, Archspire is a good example of... Like, they're almost too techy, but their last album they just did, Bleed the Future, holy shit, that's like my top five albums of all time. To me, that is like the epiphany of a fucking modern metal tech death album. It is so good. But I cannot wait to check out more Zenith Passage, and uh, I hope that kiesel and zenith and youtube allow me to share my opinion as a reaction here on youtube hopefully i don't get too bad of a copyright strike strike on this and with that being said stay positive stay rocking and i'll catch you on the next one